All right, so I've already applied my eyebrows, so I'm going to go in with my foundation. And the foundation that I'm using is Black Opal's um, foundation stick. It's a cream foundation in the color Truly Topaz. And I'm just taking a makeup sponge. You can get those at any type of drugstore, makeup store. They're like only like 2 or $3, I think, for a pack. Um, or you can use a beauty blender, but I'm just using this because uh, normally I'll just save my beauty blender for when I'm actually doing someone else's makeup. But <clears throat> anyways, you just uh, make sure that you apply and blend in that product all the way in your skin. Make sure there's no smear marks. And I absolutely love how that foundation looks. Now I'm going in with my concealer and I'm using LA Girl um, Pro Concealer in the color Cool Tan. And I normally use the Cool Tan right underneath my eyes. And then I go in with the lighter color to kind of make it more of a highlighted look. And the lighter color I'm using is called Natural. And I apply that underneath the eyes, bridge of my nose where my little mustache is, um, my chin, and then I'll go back in with a makeup sponge and I will um, just blend that out. And it looks like I decided to go back in and do my forehead as well to make it more of a highlighted look. And whenever you're using a liquid product, the key to it is just dabbing that product into your skin. Don't smear it. Dab it in and it actually gives it more of a flawless look. You can also wet your sponge like when you're using like a cream based product. It's, you know, it's good to also kind of dampen your sponge. And that will also allow it to go in a little bit more creamier and smoother and give it more of a flawless look. Now, whatever that you used, liquid or cream-wise, you always want to set. Now, when I'm highlighting my face, I always set my um, concealers with the Ben Not Banana Powder. So, I put that wherever I use that lighter concealer color. So, I'll put it underneath my eyes, put it on the bridge of my nose, put it on my upper lip, on my chin. And then also apply it on my forehead. Now I'm going in with my Black Opal Deluxe Finishing Powder and I use a color medium for my skin tone and I just apply that powder everywhere that I did not apply that Ben Nye. So that's just to set my foundation so my face doesn't come off um, smeary during the day. It'll just have a flawless look during the day. I'm going in now with my Sleek Cosmetics Contour Kit. And I normally just use that darker contour powder right, um, right above like where my ear starts, I guess you could say. Normally you could do like the duck lips and uh, you'll see exactly where your face needs that contour. But I don't take it all the way down, I normally just take it halfway to the cheek. And then I love to also contour my nose just a little bit. Now this product I bought at a hair store, but it actually I love it. So I'm using the two bronzing colors right above where I contoured. 
just to give me more of a sun kissed look. Now, when I do um, the bronzer, I do apply it right on my, uh, right above again where I contoured, as well as on the top of my hairline and then underneath my chin. And then I'm going to apply a little bit of a blush. And when I'm doing my everyday makeup look, when it comes to the blush, it just depends on what I'm wearing. So since I kind of have on an orangey type top, I'm going to use more of an orange based blush. And I'm going to go in with my mineral last skin finish in the color Cheeky Bronze. And I'll put that right above where I applied that blush to give me more of a, a glow. And then I, uh, I've allowed my Ben Nye to sit for a long time. So I'm just blending that out. Take on that excess powder off my face. And then I'm going to go back in with my Sleek Cosmetics and use a highlighter and put that right on my cheekbone and then I normally put it on the bridge of my nose my widow's peak and that's it now for the eyeshadows or for the eyes I don't really do a lot of eyeshadow I just use a highlighted color so I'm using max nylon and I'm putting it right in my tear duct and then I also apply it right on my brow bone and I just kind of blend that out and that's all I do for my eyes I don't use a lot of shadow or anything it's just more of a highlighted look Now I'm going to just do a wing liner on the top of my eyes. And the eyeliner that I'm using for this is uh, NYC's Liquid Eyeliner in Black. And it's only like a dollar or two at your drugstore. I absolutely love it though because it comes on very black. And um, it stays on all day. It doesn't like flake off during the day. So I do love this. I also like Wet n Wild's liquid eyeliner as well. So if you're looking for like cheap alternatives, those two are my best options. Alright, I'm going in with a Wet n Wild Black Coal Liner and I'm just applying it at my bottom waterline. And then you want to just set all your powder so your face can have more of a dewy look, not powdery and caked on. This gives it more of a natural look and then go in with a mascara now you can also apply falsies but for an everyday look I'm not going to apply falsies I'm just going to use a ton of mascara so I will apply mascara like 10 minutes per eye now not literally 10 minutes but I will apply it until it gets to where I think it looks long enough and more dramatized I guess you should say and then I'll um, once I got the top lashes looking like I want them to look, then I'm going to do it on the bottom lashes as well. Well, this is just a, a little cheap Maybelline mascara, the little pink and green bottle, and it's uh, I think $4.99. I think the highest I've seen it was like for $5.49, which is still cheap. So, But I love it. Okay, so again, like I said, you can use falsies if you don't really want to use a ton of mascara, but I love mascara. That's like my go-to, even when I don't put on foundation. I must have on mascara and a lip gloss. So... And then last but not least, you want to do a lip. 
Now this is uh, Wet n Wild. I think it's one of their newest colors. It's a real pretty almost neon orange color and the color is called What's Up Doc. Um, so I'm using this today because again I have a more like a coral color top. But for everyday look you can also do like a nude lip. So uh, once the video is done I'm going to show a picture of what it looked like once I actually brushed my hair and <laughs> all of that and then also show you like what it looks like with a nude lip too so if you decide to just do a nude lip with this look you'll see you know how polished it still looks even though you don't have on the lipstick but I think you could rock this with any color lip thank you guys so much for watching